Hi there, my name is Cuppy Cates, and welcome back to ZooQuest. So a little bit of a fun announcement. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but I did try my best to get some tools to make myself a little more organized. Some of that is also just me not needing to take on more projects. <laughs> I think the problem with this is, is that I love doing YouTube so much that I kept taking on more things and spreading myself super thin because I'm just having so much fun doing this <laughs> that I wasn't realistically thinking like, hey Kate, um, there's not enough time in the day for all these things that you're taking on right now. So uh, slow down a bit. <laughs> And getting these tools, I got a dry erase board planner, I got a, uh, a, a planner planner, the book planner, that's the one. And then I got dedicated series notebooks and I couldn't spend a lot of money on them because yeah, money is a thing. <laughs> I'm sure y'all know, um, but I got a new ZooQuest notebook that has bees on it. Bees. Bees. They're so cute. I love bees. I thought it was really appropriate for ZooQuest. It is not filled with anything yet. It is completely open. Nothing is in it. But that is going to be changed very soon because all of you have been posting comments and telling me in stream that you want to be a part of the zoo. We're currently still working on the staff house which I tried to furnish in the last stream, but I love talking to y'all so much that I didn't actually get anything done. <laughs> and that's why I need to have stuff like this so I can remember and be able to add y'all into the game. But also this is gonna keep track of our ZooQuest projects in the future, what we need for Zooville, what we need to finish in Boo Island, what we need for the Desert Pearl, and I also am going to write down what is going to happen on the 100th episode, which is literally five episodes away. No pressure. <laughs> All the pressure. <laughs> but it's fine. I am excited to get there. And so just not adding more projects. I need to not do that. <laughs> so for this episode, we're going to keep it simple and sweet. We're going to furnish this staff house, finish the porch, add some pathways, maybe get a boat dock in, and that way I can start putting y'all in the staff house ready for placement when what you want to be a part of is finally built. So let's get started, finally. Hey, that kind of works. I was a little worried the incense cedar would be too orange, but there is some like yellow peachy color that's in the bricks and I think this actually works really well together huh I'm gonna go make chairs it looks so official oh my gosh what this looks actually good and you can really sit in these like <laughs> I don't know if NPCs can sit in here there we go. I fixed it. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I can even put things on the table. Like I can put uh, papers and things and make it look like we were setting up for a meeting. This is epic. I'm trying to decide if I want to put two chairs here. I don't know, this is so cool. I might put some like extra chairs in the corner to make it like a true meeting room. Okay, so here's my thought process. I'm trying to like think, what would a building look like where people do some of their desk work, um, the stuff that doesn't require on the field and still make it kind of a break room. So my thought process was, if you walk in here, I thought it would be cool to have like a coffee machine set up um, on this side, maybe a snack bar set up on this side. This person right here that's going to be in this spot, which I'll decorate a little bit more, is going to be like the mail person. So they're going to take in all of the mail, any packages we receive, and they're right by the front door. There'll also be kind of our greeter 
I thought maybe over here could be like a, a rest area where we put some couches and like coffee tables. And then we go into the meeting room, right? So I think, I think I've got this pretty, pretty good. And then we do need possibly to make a bathroom at some point. I was actually thinking making one of these sides a bathroom, just taking out the windows completely and making it a bathroom, including showers. And then on this side, doing like a bunch of bunk beds. But I also thought maybe we could do some staircases up there and maybe the bunk beds could be in the loft area. So I'm gonna play around with that some more. I don't know if I love this light wood, like the light on light. I feel like it's just everything is so light. So we'll see, but it's really light. Sigh. We ran out of green dye. We are gonna have to go on an adventure to get some cactus, but I was mostly able to finish the office. So I did kind of a color theme because I don't know, I like color themes. This side is the green theme. So let green is go. Um, and this person will get all of the mail, which is why the packages are here. They have their own filing cabinet. I thought about putting some like fallen letters over here. Honestly, I think a trash bin would be better. Um, this person is the red theme, uh, mainly because the calendar came with red at the top. So I gave them the red theme. I wanna add a little more on this side again, like maybe a bin and something right there. And then I think like a plant right here would be really nice. I added the letter and the letters in the envelopes over here. Thought that was pretty cool with the glasses. Somebody's gotta wear glasses. But I still haven't been able to work on the coffee thing, which I was gonna do next, but thusly I ran out of green dye. So I'm gonna run back home. And by run, I mean teleport. Grab, oh. That's not what I wanted. Never mind, we're here. Maybe I should just tear down cactuses while I'm here. Do you make green dye? Indeed. Well, there's a bunch of these. Nice. There was enough cactus in the chest. We got plenty of green. Next, we're gonna need red. Oh, it's never ending. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go back and look at the office. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. Oh wait, plants, I just remembered plants. Ooh, I made a new thing. I've never actually made this before and have no idea how it works, but I'm kind of excited. Okay, it's a trash can. Oh, it's kind of cute. It's a little big for over there, but that's pretty cute. Oh my gosh, it's actually a trash can. Wow, that is really cool. Well, maybe instead of having these at the desk, we could have this like here. Like throw your trash away. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna set up the coffee thing then. Mouse. Quit picking up my stuff, girl. She's like, but mom, I'm so helpful. You gotta let me be helpful, mom. I am, baby. Come here. Come out to the grass. Come to the grass. <laughs> and Tush is just like, boops over the fence. Okay, so look what I found. Boop. Oh, dang it. Boop. No. What's in the way? Is it that tall? You've got to be joking. It's a water dispenser! Oh my gosh, these are like in every office I've ever seen, but I guess it's too tall? Yeah, it's too tall, crazy, we won't be able to use it. Dang it, I was excited for something we can't even use. <laughs> oh well. Guys, look at this! <gasps> It's a Coke machine. <laughs> Wait, Creeper Cola? What? Hold on. Creeper Cola Slime Soda Enderfizz. 
and blaze. <laughs> and then I found this too. Now these have like actual names on them. Oh, sun chips. Oh, sun chips. I do love sun chips. They are very, very good. Well, I couldn't find a coffee maker. I don't know if there even is one in the game. I was really sad about that. There's a coffee grinder, but there's no coffee maker, which a grinder is not quite the same thing. But these vending machines are pretty cool. Should we have them at the front? Like, come in and have a vent. <laughs> that is awesome. Maybe I should take this out. And then they could sit by side, side by side. No, because we got the desk here. That is still seriously awesome. I'll have to decide where to put those. Okay, so this is what I decided to do. I put the vending machines back here. The reason I did that is because this back area, like I said before, is going to be more of like the staff lounge area. So I said I was going to put like bathrooms and showers back here. I think I'll do the bathrooms, showers right here. I will do the lounge area, the true lounge area right here with like coffee tables and maybe even just like some sitting tables right here in the middle just for people to hang out at. Just a place for everyone to relax. We'll have a staircase that goes up into the bunkhouse. But then the meeting room with in the middle, this will actually just be a work area. So we've got desk here. I probably will do desk on the other side as well. I like the idea of maybe this being still like maybe just a coffee station where you could prepare your coffee for the day and having like a meeting area or like a place where there's a sign that's got a map and information about the staff. So business, business meets staff, staff. We got it, finally. So I got upstairs. And I decided I didn't like this. This this looks terrible as a floor. I can't handle it as a floor. Also, there's line breaks in it. And I'm like, no, I don't like this at all. I would much rather not do this. <laughs> so instead, we are going to bring this up by one, which is just going to make the ceiling extremely short. But it's it's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine, right? At least it'll be, you know, we'll have like one bedroom per section. But that leaves like six bedrooms. That's pretty good with like double beds. I think we can make this work. But I need more petrified wood. So we're going on an adventure. And honestly, interior decorating in Minecraft is tough. And I could use the break. Oh. <sighs> I'm so tired of interior decorating. In fact, I'm gonna take the puppos with me, yes! Except I got to take my sleeping bag. I can't forget the sleeping bag. Did I actually remember my sleeping bag just now? Gasp! I did. Come on, puppies. Ah! No! No! Why is it always with the pigs? No! Stop! Rude. So very rude. You know what I realized, y'all? I realized that we haven't done much real exploring in a long time. And I was thinking maybe in Zoo Quest episodes, we need to have like half building, half exploring. Because I want to find new... Were those llamas? Hold on. I haven't seen llamas in this game in forever. I don't actually I don't think I've ever even <gasps> You're adorable. Um excuse me while I go into here and grab a couple of these and take a couple of you Cause you're adorable! Oh my gosh! There are llamas in the Atacama Desert and I've been wanting to get this particular color of llamas 
to make an exhibit in the desert. I'm so glad we explored. I was worried. I was like, oh, I don't know. It might be boring. They might not like it. I was so wrong. Oh my gosh. I had no idea there would be llamas here. Where, where are we? What is this place? Oh, oh, this is just extreme hills. <gasps> we might be able to find a... C ah! <laughs> Hi. Yes, this does. Oh, it's a mom and a baby. I'm not sure if that's how rattlesnakes work, but that's adorable. Okay, so there's something really special about the extreme hills biome. It has the cougar in it. And I love cougars. The other exhibit that I had tried to start in live streams was the uh, Yellowstone exhibit. So we're gonna need cougars, but also actual wolves could be here. Oof, we're getting really cold. We gotta go back down. We're getting really, really cold. I was trying to follow a lead, but then the lead kind of fell through. Suddenly the entities disappeared, but we're back down now. Oh, that was chilly up there. What's down here? <gasps> Look. In my telescope. It is indeed the bald eagle. Actually, the bald eagle would be really, really great for our Yellowstone kind of uh, themed exhibit. Hawks as well. I do believe there are hawks in the game. I think so. Let me look it up, actually. Oh, no, we don't have any hawks, but still, eagles would be an excellent thing to add. I just saw a baby of something. It's a baby leopard? Where is your mom? Where's your mom? Why are you running around here by yourself? Mom can't be too far. Surely not. Mom's gotta be like right over here and she's gonna chase the crap out of me. Never mind, they're just baby snakes. Wait. Do you not have a mom? Do I need to take care of you? Oh, you poor thing. Okay. Let me see what I can do. Oh, got it. <gasps> oh, we got the little baby. I will keep an eye open for your mom, but if I don't find your mom, I will take care of you. We will put you in the zoo. <gasps> is that a tufted deer? It is a tufted deer. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I can't believe I haven't been here before. The tufted deer are so cute, you guys. I don't even know anything about them except that they're adorable. <laughs> it's okay. Eventually, we'll learn about these animals as we put them in the exhibit. But no, I don't just know things off the top of my head. If you want that, go watch Siri the Pixel Biologist. She's amazing and knows everything about animals, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> But I don't know anything about the tufted deer. They're just cute. No cougar, though. Bear! Bear! Yep! Hi! How are you? You're actually a really beautiful bear. <laughs> like, for real. I don't have a place to put you yet. I don't even have a place for this little leopard kit. But I can't really leave it. Oh wow, this winter wonderland is just beautiful and it's making me want Christmas so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, this was some nice exploring. Have we even been this way? <gasps> we haven't been here. So this is an area we haven't even touched yet. No wonder I didn't know that that was Extreme Hills. But we may need warmer clothes if we're going to go into these areas. I still want to explore though. There's so much out there. So much inspiration. Pandas. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. That is so pretty back there. Well, I think this is an awesome place to stop looking out over this winter wonderland that we haven't even set foot on. I don't know how long we can get into it without freezing, so we'll just leave that for the next episode because this is land we haven't explored yet. Like, this is where we are right here, but all of this over here is unexplored, and I'm really excited to kind of check out maybe if we could find a cougar not that i have a place to put it but they're super rare and i'd love to find one anyways hopefully in the stream next time we'll be able to work on the rest of the staff house finish it up and start getting some of you guys in there i'm hoping cross our fingers or we'll work on art because i want to do a, a special zoo quest logo i thought that would be a lot of fun so we might be working on that in stream but either way we're gonna have a blast and i can't wait to experience it with you guys but that's it for this episode so if you liked it give the like button a tickle and a poke subscribe to join our family if you haven't already and jingle the bell to get notified of when i post or stream zoo quest also, feel free to join Discord so you can tell me all about your Minecraft adventures or follow me on Twitch to see me live there too. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next week for more ZooQuest. Bye!